doubly linked list. So far we have discussed all about singly linked list, all the operations on singly linked list like insertion, deletion, reverse, traversal, creation of a singly linked list. I will provide you the link of all the videos of singly linked list in the description box you can check out there. So see uh, how a singly linked list can be represented we have already discussed like this. This is a node, this is data part and this part is what address part or you can say it is a pointer to next node. It is going to ad store address of next node right 100, 200, 400 is I am taking addresses in memory, random addresses. It is not compulsory that these addresses are in increasing order only. Maybe here you can write 150, fine. Any random location can be assigned in memory, fine. So now see, this node is having only a single link, this link, single link to its next node. That is why it is known as singly linked list. Now what is in doubly linked list? It is going to contain two links, one link to its next node and one link to its previous node fine. So now logically how you will represent a doubly linked list C and see this is the head pointer this pointer is going to store address of the first node see this is just a pointer you cannot say this is a head node this is a head pointer fine pointer to this first node this is known as a you can say head node the first node in the list when you are writing a program when you are implementing a linked list then we are going to maintain the, this information only the head only the head pointer only it means address of the first node only we have with us when you are writing a program when you are going to implement a linked list so now see in doubly linked list this is singly linked list this is what doubly linked list so here each node is having three parts one is data part, this is known as data part, this is known as address part, this is also known as address part, fine. Now suppose in data part we have same data 7, 4 and 9, right. Now this part is going to contain address of the next node. Suppose address of the next node in the sequence we have only three nodes is 200. So it is going to contain 200. It means this node is pointing to the next node right now same that this part of this node is going to contain address of next node that is 400 so it is going to point here and this part is going to contain 0 because this is not pointing anywhere this is the last node you can say this is null now one more thing in doubly linked list now see what you are going to store in this address part of this node this is having the address of previous node this is going to point this is you can say a point to previous node so previous node is null, no previous node is there. So that is why here we are going to store 0 or you can say null. In this part of this node, it is having address of previous node that is 100. So here you will write 100. That is why now it is going to point to the previous node. So you can say it is a doubly linked list. Two links are there, double links, fine. Here what you are going to store that is 200. So it is going to point here. Fine. And a head point, obviously we are going to uh, maintain a head pointer and it will have address of the first node in the list. So now this is known as a node. This is also a node in the linked list. So now how we are going to represent these nodes in the program? How we can represent this node, node of a singly linked list we have discussed many times. See. So this is how we are going to represent a node of a singly linked list. If you are not getting why I am writing like this, then you can check out the video introductory video of singly linked list. I will provide you the link of that video in this I button. So first of all, check out that video, fine. In this case, the data type of this node is what struct node. This complete is what data type. We have defined our own data type, fine. Like we have integer, float, character, these are data types. Na? So here in this case, we have defined our own data type. This is user defined data type that is a struct node. Two parts are there that is this is having integer data type and this is a pointer pointer to next node. So how we are going to represent this struct node asterisk next. This is for next. Now in this case data part and this part is same but we have added one more pointer that is previous pointer. This pointer is going to store address of previous node. So only difference in this representation is what you are going to declare one more pointer within this struct node within this struct node right three parts would be there one two and three so struct node one more pointer you can say pre pointer right 
two pointers are there and one data part. And obviously, this is what this is a head pointer. You are going to declare a head pointer which are containing address of this one. Why we are having this head pointer? Because you cannot directly access the members of this structure. To access these fields, this data, this node, this next, and this previous, you need either a struct variable or a pointer, right? And here we are discussing what dynamic memory allocation. So that is why we are taking what a pointer because. We can access the dynamically allocated memory using a pointer. That is why we are taking a pointer here, right? So this is how you are going to represent this node when we will write a program on doubly linked list. Now, see what are some advantages of doubly linked list. First of all, we will discuss those things. See, in this case, you can traverse the linked list in forward direction as well as in backward direction because two links are there. But in this case, we can go only forward. Next thing is. See, suppose we have a pointer temp, and which is pointing to the second node. That is, it is having address two hundred. So now, using this pointer only, we can look forward also, and we can look backward also to this node also and this node also, right? If if I say temp next is, it means this address. So we can access this node. If I say temp temp arrow this pointer pre pointer, then we have. Value is hundred, so we can look to this node also. But in this case, you cannot look backward. You cannot look reverse. See, if here is the temp pointer, you can only look forward because temp next means four hundred, so you can go here only. You can access this data only. We don't have any information regarding this. We cannot move back, but here we can do this, right? So in this case, deletion is easy. If you want to delete. A node, then only one pointer is enough. But here we have to maintain what two pointers for deletion, as well as insertion is also easy. Both deletion and insertion we will discuss in detail in the uh, next video. Fine, we we are also going to implement insertion and deletion in doubly linked list, right? But one drawback of this linked list is what? See, here we are storing two pointers, right? So this is going to take more memory space. Suppose Here, if you want to calculate the memory space requirement of this node, then integer is going to take four bytes in typical compilers, and pointer is also going to take four bytes in 32-bit compilers. So it means eight bytes for this node. But here, for storing the same information, that is seven. You need how many bytes? Four for this seven, this integer data, four for this pointer, and four for this pointer. Right? So here you will need. 12 bytes so you can say in this case extra memory would be required than this singly linked list to store the data right but many advantages are also there of doubly linked list that is why the concept of doubly linked list came into picture see and one more uh, thing is that for printing this uh, doubly linked list in reverse direction you just traverse the linked list till here and from here only you can print this data then this data and this data this data because we can traverse this list in backward direction also because of this link but here we cannot do something like this we cannot traverse it in backward direction so in next lecture we will discuss how to implement a doubly linked list how to perform insertion operation uh, deletion operation and how to traverse how to display the data of a doubly linked list right So I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.